What's up Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars SH Figure Arts action figure review. Got a couple of new ones. Uh, this is one that I picked up while I was over at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago. Um, I was really excited to pick this one up. Uh, obviously, it's Mace Windu. And I've got the wrong box. If you manage to read it, <laughs> you will know what my next one is. Um, I'm not sure where I have the box. I'm not sure why I grabbed the wrong one, but that's okay. The figure is what counts in this video. Now I just got the Black Series 1-2 which I have also reviewed. Um, so it's cool to compare them. Um, in my opinion they're both they're both equally as great as the other one. Um, obviously you pay for a little bit more with the SH figure arts and you do get a little bit more so it's it's pretty cool. Um, but the Black Series 1 is great as well. So. If you want to look at that one, go check out my review on the Black Series Mace Window. Uh, it's not far back on my channel. So, accessory wise, he does come with his unlit lightsaber hilt here. And it has a little peg that does peg onto his belt right here. And that holds on there nice and tightly. So it comes with a second head. So it's a lot more aggravated. Whereas this one's more of a just stoic looking. You can see the difference there. Both a fantastic likeness to Sam Jackson. Really nicely done. And as always, they come with multiple sets of hands. So we've got two, two open hands. For some force push action. We have two fists. Obviously one of them is on the left hand of the figure there. And we have two lightsaber gripping hands, of course. The one is on the figure. Um, of course, his lit blade which can be removed at the blade and that sort of slots through underneath fits in there nice and snug so much like the other Jedi figures they're very very simplistic in their robes but really nicely really nicely put together um, I've recently done the Obi-Wan Kenobi from Revenge of the Sith. And uh, I'd love to get my whole hands on Qui-Gon Jinn one of these days, but that's going to require some, some saving because <laughs> that's it's well and truly over the $300 mark now. So I may wait. I may not get it at all. But uh, yeah, this is a nice one. I like the dark brown robes and then the white pants underneath. Nice dark, dark brown belt, boots. I was looking at the belt here. <laughs> of course, nicely detailed. The little cylinders, the pouches, the numerous little buttons and stuff around the belt. In the front there, the gold, little gold buttons and the silver buckle. Just an all-round decent figure. It's got all the articulation that SH Figure Arts figures do have. Um, most of them have, anyway. Uh, this one is, you know, it's it's all of it. There's <laughs> there's too many joints and stuff there to name, so I'm not going to. Um, but if you know SH Figure Arts and you're watching this video, you probably got a pretty good idea on how these how these happen. These how these figures work. Looking forward to setting up some scenes and getting some photos with this guy. So let me know in the comments what you think. That would be awesome. And until my next video, may the force be with you.